Hello everyone, I'm the Herping Kid and welcome to our journey where we explore snakes, their relatives and the world's growing passion for these magnificent creatures. Today we'll be discussing three intermediate level snakes for keeping. So those of you semi-experienced snake keepers such as myself, these snakes would be good and they've all got a little something that makes them a bit more of a challenge than your average ball python. So first up is the hog nose snake. Now these snakes are the cutest little thing you've ever seen. They're so cute, but the thing is, there's a few challenges, such as the fact that they like burrow. This isn't really a challenge as you just put a little bit more substrate than normal. By a little bit, I mean about that much. And then they can burrow as much as they want. And for heat, they like a heat lamp as opposed to a heat mat because they are natural baskers. So with the heat lamp, you want to keep it at 31 degrees Celsius to 32 degrees Celsius. For substrate, you want a sand and soil mix. If you want to know what that is, please go search it online because there's a few different definitions that you could go by. The females can grow up to about one meter long and the males can grow up to about 60 to 70 centimeters long. So they're not the longest snakes. And that's what makes them so cute <laughs> because they're stout little figure. They cost about 1,600 or uh, 1,600 Rand or $100 approximately. And they like eating rodents unless they've been eating toads. If they've been eating toads, they will not eat anything else. They are very picky eaters. So if they've been eating toads, they will only eat toads. If they've been eating rodents, they will only eat rodents. So if you're going to buy one, ask whoever you're buying from, what did you feed them before? And then you'll be good. The next intermediate level snake is the Woma Python. These are originally from Australia and the main challenge is how long they get. But we'll get into that. Now, they like heat mats because they're pythons. They like lying on a heated area. And the, the temperature should be about 32 degrees Celsius. For substrate, they like sand, paper towel, or astroturf. Any of those three options would be good for a Wilma Python. I'd suggest sand if you want your cage to look nice because you can't have very much decoration with the Wilma Python because they like moving around a lot as opposed to, well, no, no, not as opposed to any, everything. So you don't put, to, don't clutter the cage with decorations, maybe one, two or three, but don't do any more than three because they need space to move. I mean move like on the ground, not over a decoration or something like that. They get about two and a half meters long, so quite long, and they cost about 500 rand, uh, 5,000 rand or $300. They're quite rare too, so you're not going to get this everywhere you go, not on, at an average pet shop. You'll have to go to a breeder. Yeah, that, that's about the only place where you'd get them, a breeder. And they eat rodents. The last intermediate level snake is the African egg eater. The name already suggests the challenge for this snake. We'll get into that in a little bit. It's a bit more challenging than chicken eggs. <laughs> so they like heat mats as far as I could research. They like heat mats, which doesn't make much sense to me because most African snakes like basking, but I won't question it. The substrate, any aspen shavings would be good. Aspen shavings would be best for these African egg eaters. They grow up to about one meter long, so not too long. Quite cute, actually, when you see them. They cost about 3,000 Rand or $175. And they eat eggs. The thing is, typically not chicken eggs, 
rather something like a rather a small bird with a smaller egg than a chicken egg it's a bit too big for them and they only eat fresh eggs meaning just laid laid within the last two days so it would be quite a challenge to be honest to keep these these are almost at expert level because of how difficult it is to get the eggs that like button if you enjoyed and and if this was helpful to you and subscribe for more snake and animal content every monday and every friday and i will see you next time Artlist.io